tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And then the devil taken him up into the holy city, yeah. and set him on a pinnacle yeah. of temple. And said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it's written, He should give his angels charge concerning thee, and their hands they should bear thee up. And he said, Any thou time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Oh, no. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Right. Again the devil taking him up into the exceeding high mountain. And showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And he said unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only should thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him. And behold, angels came and ministered unto him. You may be seated in the presence of the From those few familiar verses, I'd like to use for a subject this morning, Father, keep me with a desire to live for. Father, keep me with a desire to live for. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come now, first of all, to say thank you. Lord, thank you for this hour. Yeah. Lord, thank you for your work. Thank you, Lord, thank you for the ears that we can hear. Lord, thank you for a mind that we can receive. Yeah. What's being said, thus said the Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Lord, I ask you to use yeah. me as a vessel that can carry that word into the darkest places of our hearts and minds, that we might find life for our salvation. I ask for that in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I do pray. Amen. Father, keep me with a desire to live holy. You have to understand that we're going to be having to make choices every day. We have to make choices in our daily lives of what we're going to do, what we're doing, or where we're going. And the choices that we're making is based on who we are. As Christians, we're supposed to represent holiness and righteousness. A desire today is defined as a strong feeling of want, or a strong feeling of wanting something to happen. Holy is defined as a dedication to God's concentrated and sacred ways of life. Father, keep me with a desire to live more. First Peter 1 and 15 said, but as he which has called you is holy, so be ye holy yeah. in all minds of conversation. Yes, well. yeah. See, that's our problem. Sometimes we're talking junk. We're talking nonsense. We're talking things of the world. We get ourselves confused on our conversation. We're listening to gossip. We're listening to the wrong thing because we're involved in bad conversation. Yeah. Do you realize that you can desire to hear gossip? Do you realize that you can desire to hear bad things on people? Do you realize that you can desire to talk about people and to scandalize people and to be envious of people because those are part of life desire? Do you realize that when someone has given up on life, they desire not to leave? And that's what's happening a lot of times in the world today when someone comes and shoot up everybody. They have no desire to live. They have lost their morals. They, they have lost their concern about human life. And we're living in a time now that those things are happening all around the world. First Corinthians 14 and 1, follow the ways of love. And eagerly desire the gifts of the Spirit, especially prophecy for one who speaks in tongues does not speak to man, but speak to God. We got to be talking to God. We got to have a conversation with God. Because if we're not talking to God, we're talking to ourselves. And so when we're talking to ourselves, we're trying to do things for ourselves. There's nothing you can do without God. There's nothing you can accomplish without God. We have to understand, I can't do nothing. 
You can't do nothing without God. We have to have God in our daily life. You are a Christian. Am I correct, sir? Yeah. We're talking about Christian. I'm not talking about the sinner because the sinner is a man or a woman that lives in the world. Yeah. They have desires for themselves. But see, when you understand the text that is before us today, it was a desire for Satan to have Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. He tried to confuse him. He tried to make him think something that he didn't have to think.
make sure I don't get caught up in the desires of my eyes. Yeah. Or have a proud life. Proud life that means I'm going to be better than anybody else. Right. Proud life means I'm going to be better than you. I don't care anything about you. I'll put your name down. Right. I'll put your things that you, I'll, I'll talk about you. I'll scandalize your name right. to make myself look good. Yeah. Because I want to be a proud person. I want you to respect me. Right. I want you to talk about me. Yeah. I want you to help me in all the things I'm doing by lifting me up. The desire to live hope. Yeah. That's important because when we realize Satan got a desire. Yeah. Yeah. Satan got a desire. Luke 22 and 31, he says, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has a desire to swift you. Yeah. Y'all gotta understand that was back then. If you think Satan don't have a desire for you, you don't think Satan will separate you from yeah. your desire to live hope. Do you think that Satan don't want to make you sad and take away your joy and your peace? Do you think Satan will mess with you? I have to tell you, if he's not messing with you, he already got you. See, he had me for a long time. He didn't have to mess with me. He just left me out there sinking it and quicksand. There was something I had to ask the Lord for. I had to ask the Lord, Lord, help me, lift me up. Lord, give me the desire to live up. Lord, I need you in my life. Lord, there's nothing I can do without you. And Lord, I learned about you. I know who you is. I know who you is. A desire. There's got to be a desire. Because if it's not a desire, what means is I have a desire really to do something else. Everyone here has a desire. Even the kids that are here, they have a desire. They have a desire to have toys. They have a desire to have this and that. And they, they want the burgers that they want. They want the clothes that they want. That's a desire. And even the parents here, they have a desire that the kids do good. They have a desire that the kids make it through life. But see, all those desires will fall apart if I take God out of it. If I take Jesus out of it. If I don't include Jesus. Jesus, I need you to help. I need you to help me with my kids. I need you to help me with my wife. I need you to help me with my husband. I need you to help me with the church. Jesus, I need you because I got a desire to keep living holy. See, anything that goes on in your life that's close to you, it'll break you. It can come along in your relationship. It can break you. It can make you sad because your spouse is going wrong. Anything in your relationship on the job can break you because your co-workers, the people that you're working with, they can break your feelings. And it can make you not have the joy and the peace that you need in your life. Because you need, you need to have joy. You need to have peace. You need to be able to go home and say thank you. You need to be able to come into church and say thank you. You need to be able to do that each and every day of your life. Lord, keep me in the desire. 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 Lord, I need you right now. Lord, I need you right now. Because even now, I can lose my desire. Even now, I can lose my hope and my hope that God has for me. See, he told me my hand. He told me my hand. So I know that when I get to the point of losing the hope that he got on me, if he let me go and let me give up and let me just stop concentrating on him, then I start concentrating on me on myself. Only on myself. I start trying to do the things that I accomplish, the things that I want to accomplish. I start trying to find the things that I want to find. But yet it's still when the tears start rolling down my face because I'm disappointed because I didn't receive this and I couldn't do this. And I'm now I can't even need, I can't concentrate because I'm so confused. I done lost my desire to live holy. Satan still comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He's still operating on the same principle. He's not going to stop because you born, because you came and joined tomorrow, because you got a good job, because you got money in your bank account. He's not going to stop. He'll let you build all of that up, and then he'll take all that away from you. Because if you take it away from you, he knows what your desires are. Whatever you desire this, this morning, whatever your desire is, yeah. God really knows. Yeah. God knows what you, you desire. He, he knows what you really got to love for. I see a desire that's more than just the want sometimes. Because it's a controlling factor in your life. It'll move you in a situation that you don't need to be in. It'll make you say some things that you really don't need to say. It'll make you do some things that you really shouldn't want to do because you're a Christian. Never forget that we walked in here as Christians. Yeah. If you're a son, you have 
yourself a time to come down here to the altar before you leave. But you walk in here as a Christian. And when you leave here, we want you to leave here as a Christian. Because we want you to keep the desire to live home. Do you need to prove something to say this morning? Do you need to prove something to a family member this morning that you're a real Christian? Because they say if you're a real Christian, you wouldn't be cussing and drinking. But really, you wouldn't be. If I'm a real Christian, I'm not going to be cussing and drinking. I'm not going to be fussing. I'm not going to be arguing about this and arguing about that. Because I know God got everything that I need. Yeah. I know God will make a way. I know God can bless me in any situation. I know God can turn this thing around. He can turn it around for me. He can turn it around for you. And that's who God is in the life. He's got a desire. Yeah. The reason of the Bible. You'll pay this on the name. You'll get in the choir. You'll get on the usher board. You'll pay your tithe. You'll pay your offer. You'll do everything that you need to do when you got a desire. When you get a desire to live only, you'll pray for somebody. You'll go visit somebody. You'll help feed somebody. Because I got a desire to live only. I'm going to do this thing because the Lord said I need to do it. I'm going to be doing what I need to do because I know God is watching me.
We thank you uh, for coming and being a part of our service today. Our regular Sunday school begins each morning, Sunday morning at 9.30. Our regular worship service began at 10.45 each Sunday. This is Jamola Church of God, where we praise God and love one another as God's children. So we invite you to come and be a part of our service each and every Sunday. Y'all come on, clap your hands. Come on, Timo, put your hands together. Yeah. 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 Yeah.